we've been talking fast cars. I dare say, do you know what kind of car it was that that he got pulled over in? I'm not smart enough to know. It was it like a Lambo or something? Tyreek Hill. Uh, actually, actually, we have the we have the tape. Um, maybe let's just show the tape and maybe you'll know what the car is. Cops in uh, Miami pulled Tyreek Hill over for stunting something. Go too fast. Go too slow. Well, I mean, he's, guy, he is driving a, a, a McLaren. Being a black he, guy in a really expensive car. He was yeah. DWB. Driving while black. Yeah. Yep. In uh, a, about a couple of seconds, 15, 20, uh, they basically forced him out of the car. There were four motor, four motor cops. They put the, the knee into his back. Um, reports from uh, witnesses at the scene say that he... Uh, was then stood up and shoved back uh, into a sitting position on the concrete, um, he, uh, the curb, I guess. He was eventually let go, and he played a hell of a game, <laughs> uh, which is kind of ironic, but this is a... Look, all they were trying to do was motivate him to have a good game. So they oh, did everything they game. could to piss him off so he would play better. He should be yeah. thanking those cops. I had really let's watch the other video. Are you thank would you would you be grateful? I don't know about you, but I would not be grateful. Well look, I mean back. I mean, did he have a great game and did he get laid afterwards? Both to yes, but I don't think the cost is the, I know you're joking, but the cost the cost is there's there's no equivalence here. Um, this is one of my big issues, this, uh, this bullshit with the cops in America. Um, I was talking to a, a, a friend of mine that lives in South Florida and, uh, is a TV guy from back in the day, Ed Berliner. And we had different opinions about what we just saw. Uh, Ed thinks that, um, that, that you know, well, he should have just cooperated and he, you know, and I see that he did, uh, and, and. I got to thinking about it because, like I said, Ed's somebody that I respect. Is it just a difference of opinion? Ed's, Ed's not a bad guy. I mean, I'm, I don't think that he was wishing any ill will towards Tyreek Hill. I just think that there's like a generational difference between what I look at that and see and somebody that's, you know, 20 years, 25 years my senior looks at it and sees. I look at that interaction as tremendously unreasonable. First off, the worst thing that they've accused him of is driving a little, driving fast. Why did that take four cops to begin with? Number one, it doesn't. It wouldn't for me. Once they have approached him, why are they now taking him out of the car? Okay, so in America, you have these rights. You still have them. And the uh, the right to be free of unlawful search and seizure is one of them. That's your Fourth Amendment right. I consider that to be a violation of his Fourth Amendment right. You don't have to roll the window down. All the, I mean, you, as long as you can communicate with the cop, you're good to go. There is no law on the books that says you have to roll your window all the way down. So I don't see that as being not cooperating in the first place. And so one of the cops has already been suspended. The guy's been with the, the Miami-Dade Police Department for 26 years. He's been suspended based on what his body cam footage showed. They're continuing the investigation. Uh, Tyree Kill had this to say. Right now, you know, so I've been, I've been trying to figure that out too. I've been trying to figure that out too, man. Right now I'm still trying to um, put it all together. Um, so I'm not going to give you um, a version that I still don't know what happened. Why do you believe that the police put you in handcuffs? I have no idea, for real. Uh, no idea. No idea, man. It's crazy. No idea. It wasn't disrespectful, you know, because my mom didn't raise me that way. 
Um, didn't cuss. Didn't do none of that. I guess the police officer was put on administrative leave. Uh, were you aware of that? And, and nah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, that should tell you everything you need to know then. What if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? Lord knows, like, what that guy or guys would have did. You feel me? Um, and I was just making sure that, you know, I was doing, doing, um, what my uncle always told me to do whenever you in a situation like that. Just listen, put your hands on the steering wheel. Just listen. So, gotta be careful, man. Did, did an officer put hands on you when you were in handcuffs? Yeah. What was going through your head during that moment? I don't know, I was thinking about something else. What was I thinking about? I was thinking about going for like 150 today, for real. I was on the way, I was like, man, I'm gonna go crazy today, man. You feel me? Then all that happened and I'm like, hold on, this happening? So it happened. It, it like it happened so fast that it caught me off guard. You feel me? Because I'm like, dang, they really doing this. Hmm. Well, that's part of the issue is the speed at which all this happened. Um, there's no. I believe every word he had to say. Quite frankly, um, there is no cause for the kind of force that was used on him. It is unreasonable to stop someone for going over the speed limit. And to drag them out of of the vehicle, put put your knee into them while they are face down on the concrete, push them over, use full. I mean, it, this is crazy. So you think that's crazy? I do. I've got another one for you that's even crazier, but I'll let you finish. Well, I was going to go down the road of my solution for some of this stuff, but if you uh, do, you have something you'd like to add first? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's uh, please, let's just throw just, this into the pile because please you know, do. Yeah, uh, I like and, it when you. I like it when you bring things that I don't know about. It an really off-duty awesome. Fort Worth police officer who shot a man multiple times after an alleged hit and run attempt has been identified, and he has been placed on restricted duty. Wait, what this? Huh? Who? The cop and the, the dude. Cop. Hit the each cop. Other and yeah. The cop so, hit him. No, no, no. So, wow. well, he shot him. He shot the uh, the suspect. So, while off duty, the police officer said uh, a driver hit his car and then drove off while he was driving southbound on 35 near East Morningside Drive. According to an initial news release from Fort Worth Police Department, the police officer then started to follow the truck that had hit him. Okay. So, you're Not off good. duty. You're in your personal vehicle. And you're chasing a guy down. We call that like road we rage. Heard, and I feel like we heard this story a few years ago out of Farmer's Branch. Didn't it? so well, did it for the cop? Uh, well, I mean, it, it wasn't a hit and run, but the whole getting in your car and chasing somebody down with a gun just not good. Yeah. So the uh, the police officer said that the driver of the Ford F one fifty then tried to ram into his car, and that's when he shot at the man driving the truck multiple times. Fort Worth Police Department said. Uh, the person that the officer shot was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No one involved with the incident has been placed under arrest, including the driver who was shot. Criminal administrative investigations in this shooting are beginning. We're in police. We're investigating what happened. Well, that's how you know the cop fucked up is because if he hadn't been, that dude would have been slapped in jail so fast. But I mean. But to su suffice it to say, this police officer was off duty and still decided to go enact some vigilante justice. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. knowing that he's got the shield to, to hide behind. Well, and, and we've talked uh, about some of some of what I think will fix this. Um, the first the, the first thing we need to do is the trouble is with the training. That's a big part of it. And. Uh, police, uh, police. Well, and also in a lot of cities, the biggest problem is recruitment. Who would want to be a cop right now? There you go. That's what I'm hey, saying. Listen, here's the deal. If it wasn't such a toxic job, dude, they like in my town, San Francisco, you can make 186 grand a year as a cop. They advertise now. You have to be like a lateral transfer, but you can start out as a police officer in San Francisco at one hundred sixty-four thousand dollars a year. You can go to Campbell, and it's what about kind of a permit does that afford you? What do you mean? 
Say what now? I, I mean, for the salary, what size apartment would that be able to get you in San Francisco? Because oh, I, I don't, also, I can't imagine right? it buying you a house, but. There, well, it probably would get you close. There's also uh, rent controlled uh, buildings that are available only to people like cops and stuff like that to live here. Um, it buys a hundred, buys you a decent spot. Yeah, that's not a bad, that's not a bad haul. Um, but that's, but you know, who wants to be a cop? Um, the, the deal is that they are mistaken in a lot of cases about what they're even supposed to do. They're, they're poorly trained. Uh, they are aggressive. They don't have training and de-escalation. And a lot of this is happening because of the way they, the, the system works, which is exactly the point you were making. That they've got this this blue line that permeates all of these things, and once you're in, you're in, and they know that, and they use it to their advantage. And the only way we get control of these situations again is by removing the advantage. And the way that we do that is in a, in a, a very similar way that we've dealt with, uh, like ambulance drivers, firemen. They have to carry private insurance, and so if if the first thing we would do is address the training. And by address it, what I mean is federally standardize the training. I want anybody that's involved in uh, training new police to be licensed by the federal government, teaching a standard that is applied nationwide. This idea that, that there's individual, fuck all of that. I don't give a shit if you're sheriff jerk off in Arizona County bum fuck. I don't give a fuck about that. What I want is for the same standard to be applied in bumfuck Arizona as it is in San Francisco. And the only way we do that is by training these people uh, in a way that is consistent from one end of the country to the other. Um, and when we start licensing instructors uh, to train to that standard, we remove a lot of this crazy vigilante shit that you will see uh, there's, I don't have it, uh, but if you look on the internet right now, there's some video out of Oklahoma where the Oklahoma state troopers are doing like some military roust bullshit. And it's fucking crazy. You're like, who are these guys running off to fight? They run off to fight you basically. So we start with that. Hey, look, people get rowdy at those casinos in Oklahoma. Okay. So that's obviously what they're training for. Dude, it's crazy. It's like it's like somebody's dropping bombs outside the gate or whatever. And they're it's and there's these are recruits and just like no wonder they're so militarized, right? Um so you start with that, you train them to one standard, you go off and then you force them to carry private insurance like malpractice. And you remove uh, the the uh, qualified immunity is what it's called, where they just you can't sue them because they're allowed to be fucking stupid. That's bullshit. So if you if you standardize the training federally, apply it the same all the way across the board, this idea that you're ignorant to the point where you're going to go out and fuck up and we have to just say you can't be sued, that that's removed. So you can be sued. Your private insurance is going to take care of it when you are sued, like malpractice. And I'll, Rob, I'll even go this far. I'll, I, I won't make, I won't take it out of their pocket. I'll pay for it. We will pay for it. Sub, sub, subsidize it. Mm, like I, maybe. I can't make a... Well, I mean, we're already paying lawsuits that the, you know, that the cities and counties and everything have to pay out anyway. So, eh. might as well. Yeah, but now it just makes you know the individual more accountable than the entire department or the entire. It, it does because so. if you can't be insured, you can't work. Uh, I also like the idea now that might of, send you into the pr trouble of, you know, since we're talking about recruitment being down and them not being able to find people, you may start, you know, thinning the herd even more. Dude, if we're Which not going to just lead millions, to more bad decisions, if we're not paying out millions and millions of dollars in these giant municipalities to abusive, stupid cops, and they're being held account uh, to account uh, privately through the insurance, 
Fuck me, I'll pay him 300 grand a year. Come on, baby. It's a shit job. Come get paid. Do your duty. I'm all for it. Whatever it takes to, to fix the situation. Just hit the subscribe button. We need your money. It, it also hit the like thing. Hit the like button. So give it the thumbs up. So it, it helps going, the algorithm. Rob's going back on the call.